The Jacksboro Board of Mayor and Aldermen approved last night a resolution in the grant application process toward a new fire truck. With the help of a community development block grant, Jacksboro will be responsible for 21% of the total cost, or $53,165. Total cost of the project is not to exceed $253,165. In other business, during last night's regularly scheduled monthly meeting, the board approved a resolution toward the Campbell County Hazard Mitation Program. Mayor Jack Cannon explained the purpose of the resolution was to identify and list the areas with a history of drainage problems where tiles and culverts may have to be replaced in the future. In Jacksboro, those areas are Cove Street, Valley Street, Orchard Street, Gent Street, and Dog Creek near Woodlake Church. Mayor Cannon said that documentation in the form of the resolution needed to be on the books in order to apply for grant money in the event of future flooding in those areas. They also approved a request for safety vests and cameras for the police department, approved the hiring of Emily Lowe as librarian and Corey Chapman as an employee in the street and sanitation department. And during Jacksboro's beer board meeting last night, the owners of Tobacco Mercantile were approved for a beer permit. Campbell County will conduct a street count of homeless individuals in our county on January 24th. As part of the 2013 point in time count coordinated by the Tennessee Valley Coalition to end homelessness, the point in time count is a survey of homeless persons in every county across the United States. Due to separate funding applications from the federal government, there are the parts of care across the state. Our COC will survey the homeless in Anderson, Blunt, Campbell, Claiborne, Cock, Granger, Hamblin, Jefferson, Loudon, Monroe, Sevier, and Union counties. During last year's count, 777 homeless individuals were counted in our 12-county region. Homeless persons use a variety of public systems in inefficient and costly ways. While it may not be obvious, the chronically homeless create significant costs to local service programs. A recent study conducted in Knoxville showed that a chronically homeless person used approximately $37,000 in services per year. The point in time count seeks to identify the number of homeless individuals and families in Campbell County. During a 24-hour period, local volunteers and social service agency staff go into the community to gather information on homeless populations. The count not only measures the needs of the homeless, but also provides direction for future development of services. It's an important tool for resource development and planning. Results of the count provide the community with vital information to use in obtaining funding to support programs for the homeless in the county. Volunteers are needed to perform the count throughout different areas in the county. Our training session will take place on Monday, January 7th at 4 p.m. at Roan State Community College. Pre-registration is requested. Emergency housing vouchers and food vouchers are also available when homeless families are found and counted so they can be provided a meal and alternative lodging. For more information, call Debbie Mike Sell at the County Mayor's Office at 562-2526. And it's been a little more than 20 years since Jellicoe's early 90s basketball team played in the Sweet 16. And tonight, the players and coaches will be honored before the Jellicoe Oneida basketball game at Lindsay Gym. 
The season had odd twists in that its coach, Alvin Evans, was deployed to Desert Storm. Fill-in coaches Danny Oaks, John Turnblazer, and the late David Chitwood directed the Blue Devils to a 26-win season. The Jellico season ended in the Sweet 16 with a final season loss to Chattanooga City. That group of Devils, finishing 26-9, and nine, will be recognized before tonight's boys game. Airtime is 8 p.m. over 1450 WLAF.com. And that's the news for this Friday. We'll be back with a press release from the Campbell County Sheriff's Department. And there are eight people on our press release from the Sheriff's Department. Eight people booked into the county jail in the past 24 hours. Sterling Dustin Foster, 35, of Hilltop Drive in Oneida for DUI. 29-year-old Allison Nicole Grissom of Broom Road in Knoxville for assault and aggravated criminal trespassing. Matthew Calvin Lowe, 28, of Janeway Lane in Jacksboro for domestic assault and aggravated burglary. 49-year-old John Glenn Parker of East Beach Street, La Follette, was held for another agency. Christy Leanne Paul, 32, of North 12th Street, La Follette, driving while revoked and violation of the Tennessee financial law. 28-year-old Jessica Suzanne Quinn of Spartanburg, North Carolina, for driving while suspended. Jeffrey Thomas Seals, 42, of Cherry Street, La Follette, for rape of a child, marijuana, casual exchange, aggravated sexual battery, and possession of marijuana. And last today, 26-year-old Sheena Jean Snow of Snow Lane in Jacksboro for violation of probation. And that's a look at our end of the week newscast. Thanks for joining us and please join us again Monday. We'll start another week and cap the weekend for you. Hey Big Josh with you on this Friday evening. Friday already. You know when winter temperatures settle in this weekend and usually around 40 for highs and 20s for lows is where we are here in January. In Campbell County now uh, we won't be too far from those marks this weekend mostly clear and 24 tonight Saturday starts frosty partly sunny skies for Saturday and Sunday and around 45 for highs both days now we'll dip into the 20s each night for lows Saturday however brings a small chance for rain and then there is an outside chance of snow showers Saturday night. It's going to be a tad warmer next week. I promise you. Kinda. Well, that's our weather. Now, here's where we're at for tonight's lineup right here on Channel 12 TV. From 4.30 until 5.30, it's the Gateway Gospel Hour with Binghamtown Baptist Church. And then from 7 to 8, it's the Word of Life with Brother Don Allen. And then from 8 until 9, the Water of Life telecast with the Old Pathway Singers. Now I want to remind you that anytime you're out of the WLAF radio as well as the WLAF TV coverage area, all you need to do is connect to our web channel on 1450WLAF.com. Click on the radio line to hear WLAF or scroll down the left side of the page and click on the green sc uh, screen link to see channel 12 anywhere, anytime. Hey, remember this. God loves you, and we love you. Find you a good Bible-believing, Bible-preaching, Bible-teaching church and attend this weekend. Will you do that? Have a great weekend. God bless. We sing happy birthday to you. And may all your dreams come true. Happy, happy birthday. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, Big Josh with you on this Friday evening. Once again, we're going to do the birthdays and anniversaries for you and the birthday club and the anniversary club brought to you by WLAF and Eastside Pizza 
and Delhi. Looking at our birthdays today, Tammy Payne celebrating. Happy birthday to you, Tammy. And Rita Burge is having a birthday today. Happy birthday, Rita. And Larry Red Wilson, 63 years old. And uh, we want to say happy birthday to uh, Red. So if you're having a birthday today, we want you to have a great day. But remember, you got to have your name in here in order to qualify. We're not showing any anniversaries today. So once again, if you're celebrating your anniversary, you have a good one. But we need your name in here to have uh, to make you qualify for the drawing. And we're going to give you the winners right now of our anniversary club and our birthday club. Looking at our anniversary club, congratulations to Judy and Clifford Cadell. They were married 49 years this past Tuesday. So congratulations to Clifford and Judy. And uh, our birthday winner this week is Wilma Wilson. Wilma had a birthday on Tuesday. So happy birthday uh, to Wilma and congratulations once again for winning a birthday dinner for two from WLAF and Eastside Pizza. Hey, I've talked my way out of time and I got to get out of here. Have a great weekend.